everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be one of my favorite things and that would be a haul. Yay! I just love hauls. I love watching hauls. I love hauling. I love making haul videos. So this is pretty much um, from Ulta or Walmart because it kind of went both places. So yeah, let's just get into it. So the first thing I'm going to start off with are some hair care things. And I did pick up um, a new shampoo and conditioner. And this is the Herbal Essence Naked. Um, this is the Shine Shampoo and the Shine Conditioner. And they are both paraben and silicone and color free. I actually really, really like the way it smells. It says it's white tea and mint. It has white tea and mint extracts. Now y'all know I've been really liking the like cleansing conditioners and I do still like those. I was actually looking for the um, Herbal Essence one and just couldn't find it. I've seen it before, but for whatever reason my Walmart does not have it right now. And then I picked up something for Lily, which is like a huge bottle. And this is the Aussie Kids 3-in-1 um, and it's called Melon Head. And it is shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. It does really smell good. So I just thought that was neat. And this was like $6 for this huge container. I thought that's going to last forever. I also picked up, I actually picked up two of these. And this is the Equate um, Makeup Remover Cleansing Towelettes. I really do like those, especially um, if I'm ever lazy at night and don't feel like going through my whole skincare routine. I will just take that and wipe my face off and I'll, you know, at least feel like the makeup isn't clogging my pores. So moving on, I think I may have some other stuff from Walmart in the back. I'm not sure, but moving on to stuff I got at Ulta. This is the Real Techniques um, Miracle Complexion Sponge. Now I've heard many many different people comparing this to the beauty blender and i've even heard people saying they like this one better now i normally use foundation brushes for my foundation but i'm going to give this a try and i'm probably i don't know if i'm going to do a first impression review or use it a couple times and do a review i haven't really decided but you will see this coming up soon I actually picked up a couple of lashes. One, yeah, I got this one at Walmart. This is the Salon Perfect, um, and this is called Perfectly Diva. These are really kind of wild. They have like little rhinestone accents on them. I'm coming up with like kind of a wild uh, look for y'all guys soon with something else I got. So I picked those up to go with that. And then I picked these up. These were actually on sale for, they were originally $3.99. I got them for $1.99. And they, the, they're the Ardell Corset Lashes Laced with Attitude. And I thought those were just really pretty. And I'm kind of starting to get into lashes. So I picked up the Maybelline Clean Express Makeup Remover. This is the Ultra General Ulta Gentle one. I don't know why I can't speak today. Um, this is the classic eye makeup remover. It is kind of a gel type. So the one I showed you in my empties video was the waterproof makeup one. It is the duo one that you have to shake up. This one you don't and it is like a gel. So I thought I would give this a try. I'm just, I'm kind of trying to go through and, f and find which eye makeup remover I like the best. I picked up one of the Too Faced Melted, and of course, I got the color Melted Violet. I have been wanting to pick this up for a little while. I am not going to swatch it right now because I am going to do a full review on this, but I'm super excited that I got this, and I love the color. One other thing I picked up from Walmart is a Flower Beauty Lipstick. This is my first, for whatever reason, this is my first Flower Beauty Lipstick, and it's called Two Lips to Kiss You. If I can get it open and it's LS15. Of course, my battery died. So I was talking about this Flower Beauty lipstick and it is LS15 if you didn't catch that. And two lips, like two lips the flower to kiss you. And I'm still trying to get it open because y'all know that I am not good at opening little stubborn things here. Okay. And I just thought that was just a beautiful color 
for this summer. Let me see if it smells. It has a light smell, but I don't, it's nothing offensive. Oh yes, that is beautiful. That is right up my alley, kind of like a neon -y pink. I'm excited. Ugh. The thing fits good on it, so that's good. And um, the last couple things I got from Ulta, well, not the last couple things. I have a big thing from Ulta, Ulta I'm going to show you in a second. But they kind of hooked me up with like freebies. I got this little um, thing that is the Smashbox Full Exposure Tri-10 Shades. Now, I will say I don't particularly like when they have like the eyeshadow on cardboard like that. But I just thought it was nice of them to give it to me. They also gave me this little bitty um, sample of the Laura Geller Matte Maker Invisible Oil Blotting Powder, which I thought was neat. What I really think is neat is this sample here, or this little mini of a Butter London Nail Polish in Snog. I just thought, oh my goodness, that is just gorgeous. I do not own any Butter London nail polishes because number one, <clears throat> they're expensive for nail polishes. I think they're around the $14 mark. And I generally have false nails on. I haven't had them for a little while just due to me having them for so long. My nails are kind of bad. But I will generally go and just use whatever polishes they have. Now you may be asking why I have like this nail polish rack and all this nail polishes and, and you know, I'm a makeup hoarder, okay? Let's let's just get that clear. I'm a makeup hoarder. And I don't know how to open this thing. Oh, there we go. Just twist it. Just twist it. So yeah, oh, that's a pretty thick polish. Oh yeah, that's nice. Ooh, I'm excited by that. My first Butter London nail polish and I didn't even have to pay for it, yay. And then they gave me like this little kit from Benefit um, called Glambury. So I'm super excited about that. So it has like a little mini professional. It has some little ribbony things in there. Ooh, it's a party up in here. Woohoo. Oh, they have a little mini Their Real Mascara, which I'm super excited by because I love this mascara and I do not have any right now. So I'm definitely going to be using that. I have a Hula little bronzer here, which I do not own this. So I'm excited. I don't own, ah, excuse me. I just dropped it in the floor. Come here, little Hula bronzer. Where are you at? Okay. I don't own many bronzers just because, you know, I'm like a moon glowy girl. Ooh, but that one is nice and light. Oh yeah, I think I can use that. And it feels really smooth too. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it too much. But that that is probably a very good bronzer tone for my skin. Love it! And then I have a Coralista Ulta Plush Lip Gloss. Let's see, open, I'll open it. So it just looks like that. So that's a nice size. What is wrong? I cannot grab anything. I'm not going to pick it up, but yeah, I'm so I'm super excited and I've got, I got all of those things for free. They just hooked a sister up and da 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 da. I got the Urban Decay Electric Palette. Now I will have to say I debated with myself back and forth whether or not I was going to get it and it is really pretty. Um, 10 years ago, this probably would have been, I would have had it the minute it came out. I would have been wearing it every day and I just would have been rocking the snot out of it. But you know, I, I'm a little toned down. I get a little crazy sometimes. Yeah, I'm wearing like my, one of my old goth shirts. Okay. But I, I just decided to get it. And also like one of my friends on here, Jessica, she had it and she was like, I'm going to get it for you just so we can do a collab. Um, and I was like, Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I want to do a collab. I want this palette. So I, I just decided to go ahead and get it. And I am super excited. And that's why I got like the crazy lashes. I just think it's gorgeous. And I actually, looking at some of the colors, I think 
I'm going to be able to do some wearable shades. Even if you use it just like as eyeliner and have a more neutral look, I think it's going to be really, really great. So you will see several different tutorials um, coming up with this palette because I am super, super stoked. I hope you enjoyed this little haul and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. You know, I love you. Bye-bye.